Hey guys and welcome back to World of Final Fantasy. So I've just caught myself a baby pillberry. I used um, the Sylph because the Sylph has Tickle, which is a, a stack toppler basically, and Subdue, which is physical damage that will never knock a, a Mirage out. I managed to use them in combination to get a baby pillberry. So the wielder of light and ice magic, these guys have some pre some pe the same petty grudge as their cousin. They're not berries covered in yogurt, although it's admittedly hard to unsee that once it's in your head. <laughs> so let's have a little look. They've got petty grudge, they've got blizzard, banish, and stroll, but banish is the main thing. Banish is the main one that we're after here. It's got blizzard and blizzara, which is pretty good. Uh, confirm. Uh, we're gonna use the default baby pill, buddy. Looks good. And we're actually gonna. Oh my god, so cute. We're actually gonna take the, the baby pill buddy with us. And we're gonna swap back from the reaver for the reaver because the reaver's not the one that I was actually wanting. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put that uh, in Tama's place on. Uh, Lan's head. Wait a second, I'm actually. Just double checking. R A Y N N. Oh my god, I'm such a numpty. Can I. I sat and done this ages ago and misspelled it. Uh, right, stack set up instead of self. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the. Be a pillberry on there. All right, and I'm going to go to my items and loads of prisms. The teleport stone. It's got unlimited uses, so may as well use it to get out of here. <clears throat> Takes us back to the dungeon entrance, and then we can go into the place where I was actually. Uh, where I was sitting uh, farming to level up my characters before. And we'll get a couple of levels on the baby pill break and I'll take you to the next place that I want to go. Uh, so let's head into the nether nebula. I know I know what you're thinking, you're like, so this is like the second place that you ever unlocked, like why would you be coming into here? But I'll show you. <clears throat> There's uh There's a, an extra place that you can unlock in the Nether Nebula. <clears throat> That's actually brilliant for grinding about this time in the game. Oh, little man, Dragora. Two and a half Victory! thousand damage to him. You'd think that they would just wouldn't attack. They'd be like, nah, maybe not, pal. But yeah, the baby probably leveled up once. You'll see how much it levels up when we actually get. Uh, we we'll actually get some proper fights on the go. <sighs> Alright. It's a little bit through anyway, it's actually, it's pretty much right at the end of the uh... Right at the end of the nether nebula. But obviously it's not a big deal for us because we've been here before. So we've unlocked all the stuff, we don't need to do any of the, the gimme golems or anything like that. And any fight that we get into is just who attacks, and then it's done. Uh, so easy to get cash. So easy to get cash, so easy to get experience. I just want to, to get my, my little dude up. So that we can get ourselves some... Uh, so we can do the next thing that I want to do. Uh, wrong person. Ah, I say no, there's not much. What's the difference? They probably won't, I was going to say, they probably won't do any damage. Oh my goodness, really? There we go. Sorry mate, your sister will show you how it's done. Don't bloody worry. 
Well, maybe Pilbury's getting these tiny little level ups constantly. And it'll be like one fight when I actually get the to the next area. Yeah, it's a bit of pain in the butt to uh, to actually get here. But once you're there, you pretty much don't need to do anything. <laughs> you're right next to a save and everything. Oh, that's it. Isn't it? Yep, that's it. So you come across here and there's a, a flutter location, there's actually a boulder location that you need to smash. And there's a flutter location over here. And as soon as you actually go through this section, that's when things start to get high level. But pretty much all that's here is some... You come down here and there's some items around here. But I just sit here, spin around in circles, and eventually you catch the ire of some mirages. It's all the same mirages, they're just uh, higher levels. Don't hold back. Uh, so you're looking at these mirages and they're sitting on like 700 nod health as opposed to whatever they had before. See, and a bit of extra damage. Ice Storm still kills them. All of them in one hit. Well, that Good do job. It. But you get a decent, a decent chunk of change, which will level up your, your mirages pretty handsomely. So I'll do this another once and then the baby pilbury should be at the right level for me. But yeah, this is basically all I've done, I just swapped out the stacks and just beat on a few of them. Um, basically because of the levels of land and rain, um, it didn't really matter. We didn't need to, <clears throat> I didn't need to have uh, Ice Storm equipped because they would just punch them to death. Oh wow, I can't believe I messed that one up. Wow, oh, look at the hell. There we go. No trouble at all. Victory. And then when you start getting low health, you just flip back. Maybe if everybody's level 11 now. So I mean, all that I really want off the baby pilbury is uh, up into the mirage board. Now we've got Blizzard, which is nice. Petty Grudge, Magic Defense. Uh, Petty Grudge does Dark. And then Banish does Light. So I need another two. 21 or higher, 25 or higher. That's pretty interesting. So if I get the baby pillbury up to 21 or 25, we can get the extra mirage boards. 25 is probably a bit of a stretch. It's a lot of uh, a lot of grinding to get to 25. Oh! Zap was here. Thunder attacks to create a prism trinity. I don't think I have anything that does thunder attacks. That's the first time I've seen one of them. Uh, I'm definitely going to need to find something that does thunder attacks though. So I can get a hold of one of them. The thing is, I want a hold of one of them so that I can get something that does... I want a thunder mirage. <laughs> if you knock one of these out, I'm not going to be happy. Oh my god, you did as well. Yeah. As long as the baby pillbury didn't get knocked out, because that's the one that I want to get the experience anyway. That was a lot of experience there. That was 10,000 experience. Uh, what is it? Stack set up.
I thought there was a way to use a stack's abilities. Uh, I'm sure there is. Abilities. Is there not a way to use abilities? Make much difference to be fair. I don't know why you can jump. It seems a bit odd. It's not like there's ever anything to jump. I reckon one more fight and it should be good for us. Just do it on yourself. There you go, mate. Oh my goodness. There we go. No trouble at all. Oh, yeah. Now hopefully that's got the baby pill up to a level that I'm happy with. See that's the issue, like it takes so much longer to get the levels after that. Uh Mirage Boards. I just want banish. Yes, there we go. And banish, and then we can get another prism. Oh, let's get magic plus. Sweet. I don't need another prism. There's no point in it. I, mean, I suppose if you got another prism, you could have two of them on top of each other and then stack them that way. Because I'm guessing that the uh, I'm guessing that the second level will be a medium for the baby pill, but it won't be another small. So you can have you can transfig one of them and get two of them like that and stack them on top of each other. Right. Let's just get going. You know, yes, return name hotels. All right. The next thing I want to do is travel to the ice region. All right. The first thing that I want to do is I want to come back into here. And I want to grab this box that I completely forgot about, which is the rename prism. The rename prism basically lets me rename whatever uh, mirages I have without having to worry about it. Um, and it's completely reusable. I don't know why you need a prism for it. Hmm? Oh, hang on a sec. You must be those mirage keepers Milady is all BFF with. Hi-ho! What can I do for you? Uh have a make oh, a funny face. You want a real scare. But I don't feel like wearing out my face muscles, and the animators didn't feel like going the extra mile, so <laughs> why don't we just leave it at next time, okay? Okay, back to work. Bye! That's funny. Hi ho! What can I do for you? You dare challenge me? I'll teach you the meaning of fear. <clears throat> so much no like the um feelings. when you're dead. Much like the princess goblin, the uh, the fight with the undead princess is extremely Watch high it. level, and you're supposed to this come back and get one. it. Huh? No way! But you you can uh, just imprison her. So apparently, the best thing to do is unstack. I thought we would have got full health after all of that. Apparently not. It'd be beautiful if this just worked straight away. Didn't think it would. That was strong. Uh, abilities. Vanish again. And try and prismer again. Nice! First time, man, first time. So that's what you want to do. Forty-five thousand experience, and Lan actually got some this time. 
which is impressive. So a little baby Pilbury is up to level 20 now, uh, which is pretty impressive. Rain's up to 30, Sharky Babblers are all pretty much up there. Uh, we can grab Tama and the Cockatrice again on land. So we've got some fire and we got a brand new Mirage. Everyone's favourite Undead Princess seems to uh, seems to maybe sort of have a history with Charlotta. Hmm, if she's a princess, shouldn't she have a kingdom? Well, let's not go there. It's a dead end. Uh, sui Generis. This unique soul belongs to Undead Princess from the main story. So it means that even though you can transfig into an Undead Princess, the fact that this has got a star means that this is THE Undead Princess. Siphon, Slow, Dark, possess, Possession, Rush. Dread Gaze, Hypnosis, Dark Converter, Reaper Lore, Revivify. Beautiful man, beautiful. Such a good Mirage to have, it's a large Mirage as well. Uh, let's see if we can take her with me. Uh, we'll swap out the Jewel Lizard for her, yeah. It's nice to have a strong Dark Mirage. Oh, did I forget to mention you can't kill me? Yeah, I can capture you. So yeah, obviously we can fight her again, exact same as the, the princess. But let's head back to Ninewood Hills. Uh, save it, and we'll go back to the low seas. After that, actually I, I want to swap in. I want to set up my Mirage board. I uh, not my Mirage board, my stack set up. As much as I like the baby pill break, I don't have anyone else with dark. Not right now anyway. So we're going uh, with dark or light, actually. Can we shove the baby pillbury on there and... We get Abyss and Channel Element Ice. So it's the same with either of them. Put the Mimic on. The Mimic's a lot of fun. The Mimic's got some really fun uh, skills. And uh, let's have a little look at the Mirage boards, just double check, see if the Mimic's... The Mimic's got some SPs. Lots of things have got some SPs. <clears throat> so you're 20. That's 21. 25. Well, let's grab that, and then as soon as we get to 21, we'll get that. Oh, that's a... That's a transfig, that's not a... Uh, it's not a Mirage board, which is interesting. So the Mirage board is at 25. Uh, that's actually a pretty good one to get, a strategic AP hike. Alright, now let's grab the Mimic. I think that might just swap back. Uh, no escape. Oh, we got a Siphon Mirror Jewel for that one. Uh, oh. We can unlock this. Is that the... Wait, what? The Mimic Jackpot. I've got the Mirage Board for the Mimic Jackpot. But I cannot see the Mirage Board for the Mimic Jack. I don't understand. I don't understand how to get these Mirage Boards, because it's not a... It's obviously not a transfigure. So, I don't get it. You know what? I'm just going to change the stacks for LAN, so that we've got... Obviously I don't want Sharky. Uh, I want my Cockatrice back. And sorry baby Pilbury, I love you, you're the cutest thing ever, but I want Tama back so we've got some fire on the go. Alright, and then we've got a couple more Mirage Boards to go. Let's get the Babblers up. Uh, some Magic Defense, I'm not too bothered. Let's get the Mishiva. Oh, 
Ooh, if we can get Blizzard on that would be ridiculous. There we go, let's get magic. We've got slow ice convert. Oh my god, we've got another decent amount before we can unlock that anyway. Uh, shark wool, we'll just do this for the the rest of the episode. Hydro Twister, oh my god. There's five and we have five. Beautiful. So let's go to Transfiguration into Shark Wall and... Yeah, and that gives me the Mirage Boards. I don't understand. I don't understand what the, the differences are. Uh... Cockatrice and Tama both don't have anything, so that is pretty much all that we've got time for in this episode. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. I've been CG, you've been awesome. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.